waiting at the altar. No bridegroom. Oh, he'll be here. I told that adulterated, irresponsible man that if he ever kept me waiting again, he'd be sorry for it. Shh, Sheila, please. Doesn't that man think there's anything important about getting married? About getting married to me? Control yourself. Our guests. Our guests. They're probably whistling through their fingers and stamping their feet. If they're still here. Sheila, you mustn't. You mustn't, dear. Oh, a bridal bouquet. Mm. Pretty thing, isn't it? Hello. Where's the bridegroom? Well, that's what I'd like to know. Where is it? No, 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 dear. Calm yourself, calm yourself. You'll spoil everything. Think of those people downstairs. That's what I am thinking about. They came here to see a wedding, didn't they? Well, they're going to see one. But, but you can't have a wedding without a bridegroom. There'll be a bridegroom. Who's downstairs? Fred, George, get Henry for me. Henry? Henry who? Henry Tuttle, my lawyer. Oh, oh, but you don't need a lawyer. Oh, yes, I do. Now you're going, or am I? Oh, I'm going. Oh! No bridegroom, eh? Well, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Henry, something has happened to Sheila. Come at once. What's wrong? You've always gotten me out of jams before, haven't you, Henry? Yeah, plenty of them. Well, this is the biggest one I was ever in, and you've got to get me out of it. How? Marry me. I can't do this. It's crazy. Oh, it's Mother, this is my wedding, not yours. It's all very simple, and you're an attorney. All you have to do is change the license. No, you can't, dear. It isn't done. This is horrible. Horrible. Well, what about Eric? Oh. Are you going to argue or marry me? Are you serious? Do I look playful? Give me that license. <laughs> Leave me waiting at the church, will he? Come in. How are you doing? Oh, all right. Oh, no, isn't that silly? <laughs> well, it's not so silly. That's an old custom that has a great deal of significance. Well, it's silly to me. Anyway, it's all over, thank goodness. Right. You know, I never thought I'd be lucky enough to manage this. Oh, you were wonderful, really. Except for a little nervousness. And I'm very grateful, Henry. Eric would have shown up eventually, but this will teach him a lesson. Next time, he'll be more punctual. Next time? Yes. Oh, would you put this over here? No. I won't be so lenient with him. I may be a little bit stupid, but just where does our marriage fit into this picture? Oh, our marriage is a purely social gesture to save a purely social situation. I see. Bridegroom fails to show, I double for bridegroom, save your face, and help teach bridegroom to be a better boy hereafter. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if Eric took a plane and came right down after us. Just how long do you calculate you'll need my services as a stand-in? Oh, not long. As soon as the publicity dies down, I'll go to Reno and do it all very quietly, and everything will be straightened out for everybody. You could choose a vacation, Henry. Oh, here it is. What? A wedding present from Aunt Letitia. A picture of Eric as a baby. Pardon me, please. Where are you going? going out to the club car and get quietly but effectively plastered. Don't you, Henry? Yeah, it's comfortable, uh, home-like. Oh, it's charming. Too bad there's only one bedroom. But, 
Yes, I think you'll manage quite nicely on the couch. <clears throat> Is there anything else, sir? Uh, no. That's all. Thank you, sir. It's, uh... It's unusually hot for this time of year, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is, sir. here, now we can start getting into something cool. Good. Uh, do you mind if I come in and get a few things out of my trunk? Oh, uh, wait just a minute. You may come in now, Henry. Little snookums. <laughs> Henry, be careful. Sorry. I hope my trunk being in your room won't embarrass you. Not at all. Why should it? Uh, Henry, would you move those over onto that bed? Because I've decided to sleep here. I like the light on my right. Right. Yes, right. I hope you won't be too uncomfortable on the divan. Oh, not at all, not at all. I'll be as comfortable there as uh, anywhere, practically. Too bad we had dinner on the train, otherwise we might have killed some time. Oh, we can play cards. Honeymoon bridge. Perfect. Ducky. Mm, what a marvelous orchestra. Should be, it's Georgie Stalls. Well, Henry, I didn't know you knew orchestra leaders' names. Well, I guess I must have read it on one of the cards that live around the rooms. Would you like to dress and go down? Oh, no. People might look at us archly, and I can't endure being looked archly at, can you? What? Archly, you know. Never archly. Excuse me. Thanks a lot. Are there newspapers? No, no, I haven't. A what? A, a caveman? <laughs> oh, yes, that's me all over. A fast worker. No, I don't dare give them the chance to think. Oh, yes, we're, we're very, very happy. Yes, indeed. Well, I want you to meet my wife. She's an awfully nice little person. Uh, very much of a homebody and all that sort of thing. What? No. No, no, I'm glad you called. Uh, tomorrow? Oh, fine. Fine. I know. Goodbye. Sorry. Well? Uh, my plate? No, I mean, who was it? 
school? On the phone. Oh, old fellow. After all, I have a right to know with whom you talk. I'm your wife. Huh? Oh, well, he was a chap I used to know in law school. He has a cottage around here somewhere. You'll meet him. I don't want to meet him. I want to know what he said. Oh, he, he said he wanted to meet you. Henry Tuttle, he said something about the newspapers. Now, what was it? Oh, the newspapers. I... Excuse me, the traffic seems to be getting terrific. Telegram? Mm. For you? Mm. Nothing serious, I hope. Oh, oh no, oh no, it's all in fun. Oh. Just saw your ad in the headlines. Headlines. Newspapers. Here we are, free, self-respecting, upstanding, independent American citizens, pursued and persecuted by the press. Well, my dear young lady, you've been in the headlines before. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to appreciate it, but this is different. Kind of girl who can get married without it being smeared all over the country in every sensational publication? Uh, was that kind of a marriage? A what? Uh, natural for the reporters. Oh, a natural. Well, I call it unnatural. Inhuman and disgusting. Well, there's nothing sacred. Have they no respect for the bonds of matrimony? Stay where you are. I'll answer that. Well, Eric, how nice to see you. Where is he? Well? Well? Well, uh... Don't you think you owe me an explanation? Oh, Eric, don't Now, Sheila, me. please. This is between Tuttle and myself. You stole my fiance. That's between Sheila and me. You didn't show up. That's between me and Sheila. <phone rings> Telephone, excuse me. Huh? Hello? Reporters? No reporters. No reporters. Have you seen this? Take that oh, Eric, wait a minute, wait a minute. Henry's really been very kind and considerate. And he sent me those lovely flowers. Oh, he did, did he? Uh -huh. uh, no, the roses. Hmm. Ah, thanks. Thanks for the flowers. But would you mind holding them like that? A little higher. There you are. Watch the birdie. Snap it, boys. Grab it. Was Thank there a you. fight? No. Your mother objected to the match? No. Another woman? Of course not. Broken engagement several times? Well, yes. Randall's kidnapped. No, sir. Are you both happy? Oh, yes, indeed. We're very, very happy, aren't we, darling? Yes. Hold it. Take it, boys. And how's everything about you, Reynolds? Uh, mind giving us a statement? Well, I've, uh, uh, well, aren't they both my closest friends? Their happiness is mine. Ah, oh, thanks. That's all we wanted to know. Oh, Come on, you. boys, and let's go home. And your happiness is ours. Well, we'll be seeing you. Now look here, Tuttle. I'm warning you as man to man. Hold it, I'll be right back. Oh, another surprise, Sheila. Ah, champagne. And from Uncle Fred. I'll get another glass. Well, this is something. Paul Roger. 27. Here it is. You know, this was a very happy thought on Uncle Fred's part, darling. Darling, Tuttle, I resent that. In fact, I resent everything. Sheila, what have you got to say for yourself? What have I, what have you got to say for yourself? Where were you? Did you forget there was a wedding? Uh, I went to a movie. A movie? Henry, did you hear that? He went to a movie. How was the show, Eric? I don't know. I went to sleep. Asleep? Uh, now, now, listen, Sheila, you know I wouldn't deliberately go. As a matter of fact, there was a little bachelor party last night, and, uh, well, when I woke up this morning, I, I was at a movie. You know, I've always wondered what sort of people go to movies early in the morning. Well, now you know. Oh, I think that's sweet. For you, Eric? Thank you. To the bride. To Sheila. To Uncle Fred. Heaven bless him. Uncle Fred. Bless him. 
to three on a honeymoon. Oh, I think that's sweet. And to those who go to movies early in the morning. <laughs> now look here, Tuttle. I resent that. That's the third time today you've resented something. What are you going to do about Don't it? Don't you hit him, Eric. Very well, dear, if it uh, makes you feel any happier. Yes, and we'll talk the whole thing over in the morning at breakfast. Yes, alone. You shouldn't have stopped me. I ought to thrash you. Oh, don't, Eric, no. Well, uh, perhaps another time. Good night, my sweet. Good night. I resent your attitude toward Eric. Now, don't you start resenting things. Oh, too much, eh? Well, I uh, hope you'll be able to sleep it off. What, on that thing? Do you mind if I go in and get some more things out of my trunk? Oh, uh, no, no, it's all right. This must be very unsatisfactory for you, Henry. That's putting it mildly. I mean about your trunk. Well, of course. What do you think I meant? Well, one hardly knows. Frankly, you amaze me. Hmm. I'm just an average, normal individual. The fact that you seem to have completely overlooked. Oh, well, now we're going to have to try to get along. I don't want people to think you're only my lawyer. <laughs> With Eric hanging around on this honeymoon, who are they going to think I am? Oh, now, wait a minute. Just because we're in a situation that's a little awkward, there's no reason for you to lose your temper. My temper? I'm losing my identity. That's right. Shout at me. Shout at me! I'll tell you one thing. Reynolds has got to clear out of here. Is that so? I suppose you think you can tell me who will and who will not stay in this hotel. Well, it's not the thing we're living here. You understand? It isn't the thing at all. That's right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Well, whether you like it or not, he's going to stay here. He's going to stay because I want him here. We've planned and planned this honeymoon and the places we'd go and the things we'd do, and, and we're going to do them. All right, go ahead and do them. Do anything you please. But I'm putting it into this business of being pushed around. First I get pushed into marrying you, and then you start pushing me out. Now, Henry, please. Now, listen to me. I've been in love with you for years. You knew that. That's why you asked me to marry you, and that's why I married you. At the same time, I don't think you're perfect. I do think you have possibilities. Now, see here, Henry Tuttle. The point is this. You're a spoiled, willful, headstrong brat. Now take this business of you marrying me offhand. It was quite in keeping with your general arrogance. Well, Henry, I can't understand you. You've always been so kind and patient. Yeah, but from now on, things are going to be different. You just bear that in mind, Mrs. Tuttle, and everything will be fine and dandy. I'm sorry I ever married you, Henry Tuttle. Give me a pillow and some covers. I resent it. Henry? Well, now, you mustn't feel bad about last night. We were all a little on edge from the champagne. Henry? Henry?
Good morning. Good morning. You look very domestic. I'd rather you didn't sleep on the balcony. The windows and the people. Oh, I didn't sleep on the balcony. Oh, you didn't? No. Where were you? Out. All night? Mm hmm That's a habit of mine. Sometimes I come in late. Sometimes I never come in at all. Oh. Oh, would you like some breakfast? Could I send some up for you? I'm having breakfast with Eric. Oh, I forgot. Will you give my apologies to the dear boy for my attitude last night? He's an awfully nice chap. Thank you. See you later. Are you going someplace? No. Well, what might that be? It might be laundry. Oh, well, why don't you call the boy and have him come for it? <laughs> Flannels. I wash them myself. Oh. Tomato juice, porridge, kippered herring, bacon, two eggs, white toast, and a pot of tea. Grapefruit, toast, and coffee. Doris, is that the lucky bridegroom? Lucky, not the bridegroom. Oh, I don't know. The girl has her points. Have you forgiven me? Yes. Did you sleep well, my sweet? Yes. And you? Never close my eyes, dear girl. I just kept thinking and thinking. Well, you haven't lost your appetite. Oh, no, but I couldn't help worrying. You know, we Reynolds always do. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Henry, Henry! Come on, come on, come on. What's the matter? Give us a sign. His father took him out in a boat and threw him into 11 years of water. And it's been sink or swim ever since. Uh, thanks, old boy. I've had breakfast. I'll see you later. You know, Henry rather amazes me. Well, the whole thing's rather amazing. Point is, what are we going to do about it? Now, don't you worry. I can handle Henry all right. Is this toast brown enough for you, dear? Yes, I think so. Two lobsters? That's right, Angel. Cream, huh? Just a spot, baby. I suppose it's modern and all that, but I think it's outrageous. They've no right to print that. I'll sue them. Well, it doesn't do you justice, Eric. It really doesn't. Justice? 
Justice, is that all you can say? Not so loud. Oh, look, there they are again. Come on, Sheila. Beastly things, these bicycles, aren't they? Well, don't abuse them. They got us away from those awful reporters. Yeah, and probably into jail for larceny, too. Sheila, we can't go on with this impossible situation. I'm going to have a word with Tuttle tonight and put an end to this whole fantastic episode. How do you think I feel hearing people call you Mrs. Tuttle? Tuttle? Such a silly name. Oh, I know, darling. It's too dreadful. I must have been out of my mind. Yes, you must. Well, now, wait a minute. What do you think about the time that you... Well, there's Henry. We never get rid of that fellow. And with a blonde. Ha-ha. Hello. Hello. A little uh, morning constitutional. <clears throat> Very stimulating. Well, Henry, I didn't know you could ride. Oh, yes, but not a bicycle. Oh, Sheila, I want you to meet Miss Van Orden. Helen, this is my wife. How do you do, Miss Van Orden? Well, I'm sorry. This is Mr. Eric Reynolds, an old friend who came along to help out on the honeymoon. Well, how cozy. How do you do, Miss Van Orden? Come, Sheila. There you are. Give him his head, Eric. I'll see you later. Goodbye. A uh, show later? Yes, yes, let's do. Let's do our best. <clears throat> oh, Eric! Papa! Look! Oh. <laughs> Darling, you're not accomplishing a thing. But you look so uncomfortable, dear. Well, look, could you shove it sort of uh, to me from you? Uh, that's right. Oh. Oh, darling, don't press quite so hard. Oh, I wonder where he picked her up. Now, darling, how can you possibly expect me to be interested in where he picked her up? Uh, with this thing draped all over me, I mean... Well, one thing's certain. I'm not traveling any further on this instrument. No, I don't think you are. Do you know those bicycles belong to my children? What? Well, Sheila, is it possible that you made a mistake? I... Well, of course not. I mean, you know very well that our, our bicycles have those, uh, those, um, whatchamacallums. Uh, radios. Uh, yes, that's right, radios. Yeah, radios. Take the machine, Johnny. <laughs> Take the machine, Johnny. <laughs> nice little boy. Oh, nice little girl. Oh. No, 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 no. no. Uh, well, uh, I'm glad to have seen you. Yes, it was nice to have met with you, too. <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm. Come, children. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ha-ha! Charming children. So, we walk back. You know, I don't see the point of ducking those reporters anyway. They're quite nice fellows, really, you know? James? Thank you. Hi, Sheila. Eric? Ah. Well, how was your ride back? Pleasant? Oh, we didn't... Uh... Oh, delightful, thank you. What do you have? Oh, we just ordered, thank you. Uh, Sheila and I are going over to the Gables tonight, uh, to the dinner dance. 
That's if you've no objections, Henry. Well, not at all. Sheila speaks very highly of your dancing. Well, I'm sure she'll enjoy it. Oh. Well, that'll leave you free to be with me. That is, if you don't mind, Mrs. Tuttle. Oh, not at all, Miss Van Orden. I think it's awfully nice of you, because I wouldn't want Henry to be alone. <laughs> we'll dine aboard the yacht, and it'll be like old times. You know, I never lie on a moonlit deck or listen to that lovely Hawaiian thing, Paradise Isle, without thinking of you, Henry. Oh, you've known Henry quite some time, then? Oh, yes, indeed. Why, we met on a cruise of the island two or three years ago. You know, Henry really made that trip for me. Oh, that must have been while I was still in school. Oh, you'll forgive me, darling, but... But you've a smudge of dust on that sweet little nose of yours. Trousseau. Eric has excellent taste. Hasn't he? Cigarette? Yes. Thank you. Why, but it's pleasant out here tonight. Mm. Music, moonlight. Oh, there's a falling star. Make a wish. That must be Eric. Funny, but I'd almost forgotten about him. Funny. So would I. Come in. Oh, darling. Oh, darling. How beautiful you look. <laughs> oh, hello, Henry. Uh, you don't mind, of course, old man. Why should I object? I'm only the man she married. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yes. There you are, my sweet. I'll put them on and be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, cigarette. Have one? Thanks, no. No. Oh, thank you. Now, look here, Tuttle. I want to get out of here. Oh, no, really? When are you leaving? Uh, I mean, you must understand, this is hardly the sort of uh, honeymoon that I'd planned. Nor I, but uh, here we are. Yes, here we are. And we can't get out of here until something's done about it. We? Yes. Sheila and me. Oh, uh, well, how are you going to handle it? I, I... Well, you're the lawyer. I? It isn't up to me. It's up to Poppy of the first part. So far, she's handled everything delightfully. Personally, I'm, I'm very happy. You are? Good heavens. Well, I'm all ready. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Eric and I are going on a picnic tomorrow, Henry. Would you like to join us? Well, thanks, though. No, I have other plans. Oh, well, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, uh, did we uh, come to any conclusion? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> I thought we did, yeah. I didn't know you played no, tennis. you didn't know I played tennis, did you? Tennis? I should say he does. He taught me two years ago at Palm Beach, and I've won three cups already. Proud of me. What do you think? Uh, Sheila, I want you to meet Miss Evans, Claire, my wife. Well, how do you do, Mrs. Tuttle? How this do you is, do? This is Mr. Eric Reynolds, who just came along to... <clears throat> Isn't it a lovely morning, Miss Evans? Uh, perfectly gorgeous, Mr. Reynolds. We're going to meet Helen. Have a nice day. Uh, don't nice. look for us till this evening. Nice to have met you both. See you later. Sorry, sorry, girls. Well, he certainly seems to be having a good time. Sorry, sorry, girls. I can't think what a weight that takes off my mind. Oh, this is wonderful. Alone together, away from all that nonsense. I think it's all too silly. I can't understand all those girls simply throwing themselves at Henry's head. Oh, it's the publicity. Oh, publicity alone wouldn't have been enough. There must have been something in Henry all along that none of us ever suspected. 
mosquitoes. Now, now, don't antagonize it, dear. You merely make it mad. Well, I'm certainly not going to stay here and get stung just to keep a mosquito in a good humor. Well, the place is alive with them. Yeah, it's the water. Well, let's get out of here. Come on. <clears throat> you bring the things, dear. Yes, sweet. Yes, my sweet. Oh, this is lovely. It's a meadow, isn't it nice? Oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> On my shoulder, honey. Oh. dawned on me that it's probably the glamour of that Van Orden girl that appeals to Henry. All those ostentatious yachts and country houses and things. Now, darling, that's none of our business. Oh. <clears throat> oh, Eric! Eric Bowles! Oh! Don't be silly. They're cows. Cows oh. are all right. Well, not by me, they're not. Oh, get him on that. passing, huh? Can't you folks read? Oh. Well, of course we can read. Where did that come from? Now, don't tell me you didn't see it. That sign says no trespassing, and that's what it means. Now, get. We were just leaving, but don't let a little authority go to your head, officer. Oh, pretty fresh, ain't you? Well, let me help you, Doc. Oh. <coughs> ah, striking an officer, huh? Resisting arrest. You'll go to jail for this. Come on, get. Come on. <sighs> well, this is a fine mess. Could I have some more coffee, darling? Here, pour it yourself. Thank you, sweet. Don't sweet me. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in here. Why me? I didn't pick the spot to picnic. No, but you poked the policeman. I didn't poke him on purpose. If I had, he'd still be out and we wouldn't be in. Well, I can see nothing's going to be done until they find Henry. Henry is probably out with that Van Orden girl. Oh, he is, is he? That Van Orden girl. She's the type who merely says, I'm going to do this, old dear, so you're going to do that. What are you mumbling about? Nothing. I'm talking to myself. Nobody better to talk to. Thank you. She's in the habit of taking what she wants. And if she wants Henry, well, she'll probably take him. As far as I'm concerned, she can have him. Anybody can have him. Don't you talk about Henry when he's not here. I'll talk about Henry any way I please. As a matter of fact, if Henry were here, I'd tell him a few That's things. That's the last egg. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you two could fight better outside. Come on. Well, I'm very glad to see that you've come to your senses at last, officer. Yeah. It's a good thing for you, too, that you know Miss Van Orden. Oh, she got us out. Well, give her my compliments and say no thank you. A fellow yeah. by the name of Tuttle put up the money. Oh, he's my husband. Oh, he did, did he? Well, I stay here. No, you don't. I'm not going back there alone. What I can't understand, young woman, is how you can go around with a sap like this when you got a nice fellow like Tuttle for a husband. Now, look here, officer. The first sock that I gave you was a mistake. This one. Yeah, well, go ahead and do it. Do it. Skip it. Of course, you can ignore me if I'm too personal, but... But what's it all about, Henry? Oh, forgive me, Helen. I'm afraid I'm not even being decently polite. What's what all about? Oh, this little three-cornered honeymoon, and, and you and... Helen, will you please understand if I don't want to talk about it? You don't have to, Henry Tuttle. I'm way ahead of you. You're in love. I have been for a long time. You seem to be the first one to have suspected it. Well, some gals do get all the breaks. But you're sweet, Henry, and, and if I can help you, just, just give me a cue and I'll play my part. And... I try to like it. Helen, you're a brick. Well, I suppose your little bride will be coming home from jail any minute now, so... So I'll be running along. But you're coming tonight, Henry. I most certainly am.
And it was lucky for us that Henry got his Oh, nothing of the sort. I have influential friends myself. You notice he didn't wait. Probably too occupied with Helen Van Orden. I was wondering... Wondering what? Well, whether he'd really be happy with her or not. I think I should stay married to him long enough to give him a chance to get over it. Oh, you do, do you? Well, I am going to have something to say about that. Well, Eric, I feel very responsible for Henry. Oh! Drat Henry! Haven't you put me through enough today without cursing at me? You may consider our engagement broken. Oh, Sheila. Girl of my dreams, I love you. If I could just hope. Hello. Hello. Sing, eh? Oh, yes, I do a lot of things. Doesn't it matter to you that I spent the afternoon in jail? Well, I did all I could. I bailed you out, didn't I? Yes, thank you. Eric and I thank you very much. Don't mention it. You didn't come by yourself, did you? No, I was busy. I sent the money down by a special messenger. Da 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 da. There's only one girl of mine. You can't get her out of your mind, can you? Who? The girl of your dreams, Van Orden. Oh, don't be silly. Well, I'm off. Thanks for the use of the room. Where are you going? A uh, garden party. Whose? Miss Van Orden's. Da 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 ti da 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 ti da 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 ti. Eric Reynolds' room, please. He's not in. Thank you. Oh, oh hard-boiled eggs. That's very unkind. Well, you know you're not having a good time. But I am. I certainly must be an awful failure if I can't make you take your mind off your troubles. Oh, you're doing a very good thing. Sheila. I can't see why it's surprising for a man to find his own wife at a party where he is himself. If you want to put it that way. Well, Mrs. Tuttle, how very charming. I didn't think you'd mind, Miss Van Orden, since my husband is such a welcome guest. Mind? Why, Henry and I are terribly pleased, aren't we, Henry? Uh, yes, yes, certainly we are. This is a lovely party. In fact, it's quite the loveliest I've ever had the pleasure of crashing. Uh, where's Eric? He went into town. On his bicycle? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, he, he does seem to be a rather unique person, doesn't he? <laughs> That's exactly what I like about him. Oh, yes. Yeah, I suppose you understand him. <laughs> of course, I, I imagine he grows on one. Uh, not at all. You see, you, you either like Eric or you don't like him, right off. Oh, really? How interesting. Well, well, do I intrude? Oh, no, Clifford. Mrs. Tuttle, this is Mr. Van Fleet. This is a great pleasure, Mrs. Tuttle. Mr. Van Fleet? Well, uh, aren't you dancing? Oh, may I? With me. Why not? You will excuse us. Every 
sing well. You even dance better than anybody else. That's my inspiration. Henry, you never used to say things like that. You never gave me half a chance. Paradise Isle, please. Henry, you remember? You don't mind, do you, dear, for, for old times' sake? Not at all. Keep him long, dear. That's quite all right. Well, it's a marvelous night. For what? Well, uh, for a party like this. Music. Moonlight? Romance? Sorry, but I'm sick and tired of the word. Oh, no. Not you. Well, you were made for it. Do you know, it seems difficult to think of you as a married woman, Mrs. Tuttle. You seem such a child. That's right. I am only a child. And it's long past my bedtime. Good night. was very cute. Mm -hmm. oh. Charming of you, Mrs. Tuttle. Henry and I are delighted, aren't we, Henry? Paradise Isle, remember, Henry? You don't mind, do you? I won't keep him long. Oh, that woman like the Joker! Come in. Why not? Well, you forget that I broke our engagement. Oh, that. <laughs> Don't be silly. Eric, I don't want you here. Henry isn't home. Well, that seems difficult to believe. Oh, can't you understand? I don't want to see you anymore. Oh, now, honey, honey, you're all upset. Now, I know I've been a fathead over this business, but we'll pack up and get out of here, and we'll see your lawyer in the morning. Naturally. Henry's my lawyer. Well, you can't expect him to get us a divorce. All right, we'll see my lawyer. Oh, that one. What's the matter with him? Well, what's he ever done compared to Henry? Henry? What is this Henry business? Is it possible that you're taking this marriage seriously? Have I ever done anything to make you think I don't take marriage seriously? You got into this business through a madcap idea of your own. 
which has made monkeys of us all. Oh, well, maybe you feel like a monkey, but I don't. And certainly Henry doesn't. Well, if he doesn't, he's certainly behaving like one. I never saw a man go so completely playboy in my life. That's only a pose, Eric. Actually, I think the poor boy is very unhappy. Yes, you think so because it flatters your vanity to think so. I suppose it flattered my vanity for you to go to a movie when you should have been at our wedding. Well, I showed up eventually, didn't I? Yes, an hour late. Fifteen minutes. And what is more, if you hadn't gone off half-cocked, we'd have been spared all this nonsense. Are you blaming me? Were you impossible, egotistical idiot? If you don't get out, I'll lock myself in my room. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to let me down like this. I've got my prestige to consider. Prestige? Well, why didn't you consider that before? You know, what you need is a jolly good spanking. No, you wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh! I am by intruding. Oh. Yes, as a matter of fact, you are. This is between Sheila and me. Now, look here, Tuttle, I resent this interference. Is that... That's the word. It reminds me of something I've wanted to do for a long time. And what may that be? Knock your block off. It's perfectly all right with me. know you could fight. Get up and I'll do it again. It's quite unnecessary. Uh, you've made me see the daylight. Obviously, Sheila and I are temperamentally unsuited. I uh, wish you both the best of happiness. If by any chance there are any... Uh, I'll send them a pair of bicycles. Oh. Oh. That was most cowardly. Well, uh, I mean, you must realize, I I've had the most hectic honeymoon. Oh, yes, I understand that thoroughly. So nice to have had you with us. Oh, thanks. Delighted. <laughs> but there's one thing I do resent. Oh, Henry, I think you're wonderful. Get in there and pack. Pack? Yes, we're leaving. Leave it. I'm just beginning to enjoy myself. Well, you'll enjoy yourself in Reno, too. Reno! Oh, Henry! I won't go to Reno! Do you hear me? I won't go! Why are you ordering me to Reno? Ordering you? It was your plan. Well, that was a long time ago. I've changed my mind. I've made up mine. I won't divorce you. Then I'll divorce you. Well, you can't. You haven't any grounds. You forget that I'm a lawyer. Oh. Well, uh, what grounds have you? You'll read them in my complaint. Oh, that's not fair. I haven't any lawyer. You'll find plenty of them in Reno. You married me, Henry Tuttle, and I'm your wife. I'm beginning to like married life. And I won't go to Reno. All right, stay here. I'm off to New York. Hello. Henry Tuttle speaking. Yes, I want to get a reservation on the 110 to New York. Now, thank you. You can't go to New York. That's, that's desertion. All right, sue me. Oh, oh Henry. Henry, I think I want to say no. Oh. Oh. You missed. You can't leave me alone. You won't be alone. Here's Snookums. Henry Tuttle, if, if you don't listen to me, you'll be sorry. You're, you're horrible. I'll do something desperate. Oh, no. Sheila! Here, you little fool. I won't. Don't you come near me. You'll fall. I don't care. I don't care what happens if you're going to divorce me. I'm not going to divorce you. Then say you love me. I love you. I'll say it as if you mean it. All right, I love you. Uh, say you'll never leave me. I'll never leave you. As long as you live? As long as I live. Now will you come back? Yes. <laughs> Don't look down. Come on, don't look at me. That's a girl. That's a girl. That easy does it. Eddie, give me your hand. That's it. I've got you. You 
sap. You wonderful little sap. I love you. 